Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now I can't say that I love the rock band U2, but they are a force to be reckoned with, as is their lead singer. And like the band's anthems, Bono is larger than life. Along with his music, he's been in the news quite often for his humanitarian work, especially fighting AIDS in Africa. Now, unlike the band's most recent album, that I only own because Apple automatically installed it in my iTunes, Bono is actually starting to grow on me. When he was asked about what drives him, what, what makes him tick, Bono answered, It's a mind-blowing concept that the God who created the universe might be looking for company, a real relationship with people. But the thing that keeps me on my knees is the difference between grace and karma. Hmm. Now, it's no small thing to take on this idea of karma. John Lennon sang about instant karma. Radiohead is warned of the karma police. But what is karma? Well, it's the idea that what goes around comes around. There's a kind of justice that drives the inner workings of the universe. Now, you might have caught a, a viral video, and I have to confess, I chuckled at it too. In it, a man in a pickup truck tailgates a woman, and then he passes her while triumphantly displaying for her a rather uh, unfortunate hand gesture. And just after that, his truck spins out, it crashes, and goes into a ditch. Now that's karma for you, right? He got what he deserved, instant karma. But then on the other side, there's this popular sort of pay-it-forward idea. And honestly, I can't figure out how buying the cappuccino for the guy behind you does anything or picking up someone's tab at a restaurant. But, but somehow, you know, that's good karma, right? It sets the motion of the universe in your favor. Well, as the prophet Bono puts it, you see at the center of all religions is the idea of karma. You know, what you put out comes back to you. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. In physical laws, every action is met by an equal and opposite. Well, so it happened that as Jesus was walking along, he comes across a man born blind. And the disciples ask this karma question. Who sinned, this man or his parents? And that's the kind of question we're comfortable with the kind of question we keep asking because it attempts to make sense of the world. A man gets cancer? Well, yeah. He smoked for 20 years. Kidney problems? Well, he drank too much. A heart attack? Not enough diet and exercise. A car accident? He drove too fast. Or he was texting, and by golly, none of us would ever do that. What about losing your hair? Well, there's got to be a reason, right? So why was this man born blind? Was it because of his sin? Was it because of the sin of his parents? Now, I know what I'd say to the karma question, and I know I wouldn't give the karma answer. I'd say that one common sin infects us all, And sure, certain sins have certain consequences built into the way that the world functions, but death is going to get each and every one of us, no matter how well we live, no matter how righteous we might think ourselves to be. We have all sinned, and all creation suffers. The world is a broken place. And that is true. Give an answer like that along with a quote or two from either Peeper or Walther, 
and you'll get an A in dogmatics at seminary. But Jesus doesn't offer this sort of simple dogmatic answer. Instead, he says, it was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. Now talk about mind-blowing. Sin, in all its negativity, has actually set in motion a chain of events that ends not with disaster, but with mysterious blessing. And in terms of karma, do we really want to gloat? To take pleasure in someone else getting their comeuppance? If karma was finally going to be my judge, said Bono, then I'd be in deep doo-doo is the word I'll use for you. And that's not exactly the exact quote. You know, in fact, if you read some of Martin Luther's more colorful sermons, you might get the real word because he was at times rather real. But after saying that, Bono added, I'm holding out for grace. I'm holding out that Jesus took my sins onto the cross because I know who I am and I hope I don't have to depend on my own religiosity. See, it was never God's plan that man would fall into sin. It was never God's intention that there would be illness or death or that men might be born blind. And yet in the mystery of his grace, in the Lamb slain before all creation, our Lord took a fallen situation and not only restored it, but made it better than it ever was. By the mystery of the incarnation and the glory of the cross, we have come to see God as we never could before, face to face in full and sacrificial love. A paradise better than Eden ever was. We have experienced a love that has been tested, a love that has been challenged, a love that goes beyond a, muni uh, a mutually beneficial relationship. And having been forgiven much, what can we do fall on our knees. Yes, God loves the angels, but the angels are good. It's easy to love those who love you in return. Even the pagans do this. But we have received a greater love. We have been shown a more beautiful grace. He has taken us creatures and turned us into children. And no, the world still hasn't found what it's looking for. For the world in its worldliness is blind. The world looks at the font and sees, well, a bucket worth of spit. But we, we who have our eyes opened, see the crystal fountain, a river of life flowing from the throne of God, and the Lamb who has been slain. Now, Bono is right. It's a miracle that the God of the universe is seeking out the company of folks like you or I. But that is what he's done. What happened to the man born blind? Well, we know that he became an outcast. His own parents distanced themselves from him. The community ostracized him. But then our Lord went the extra mile and sought him out. Our Lord took friendship and mercy and turned it into full communion. So yeah, karma sounds cool. Sounds like a nice way to manipulate the universe. But on this one, I'm with Bono. I'd rather have grace. And you and I might never be rock stars, but we can join with him in another band and sing together the song of the Lamb, the song of love unknown. May the peace of God which passes all understanding guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.